Hey gang, Tony here. With the gory gifts of Christmas. <laughs> okay, so. It occurred to me, after I made my last video, that tomorrow is Christmas Eve Eve, then Christmas Eve, and Christmas. And I'm probably not going to have any time to make videos after today. So, I realized I really have to just do this now. And, um... Which is why I'm going to also do a uh, another video after this very short, short, short video. Uh, so, as you guys know, if you watched that previous video about the Gory Gifts of Christmas, Ryan Barber from The Moon is a Dead World did something very cool, which was he sent out DVDs at his own expense to a bunch of people who wanted to participate with the requirement that we must review the movie. All the movies were mysteries to us, and I believe to him as well. I think he just kind of put question marks on, like he knew what the movies were, but didn't know who was going to get what. So, I, I watched the movie, oh, and they, and they all have like a loose connection to Christmas. I got Darkest Night. It was pretty god-awful. <laughs> it was... It was bad. I I can't I can't like spin this in any good way really. I honestly I'm not even lying here. It took me four viewings. I've I've been watching this movie for like four nights running, and I still really never even finished it. I'll, I'm gonna have to be honest. I really didn't get to the very end of it yet. Uh, I would watch about like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, about 20 minutes, and like just like start passing out. I'm like, oh, I can't watch the rest of this right now. Then I shut it and go back to it the next day. It's a pretty... Alright. If you if you know anything about my movie uh, likes and dislikes, which you probably don't, but if you do, you might know that I am like just... I hate found footage films for the most part. Not all of them. There are plenty that I, that I love. But generally speaking, I'm not a fan of them because I think generally speaking they're done really really poorly this is a found footage film uh the beginning was okay first of all it's confusing as fuck i don't know what was going on a lot of the time part of it i think is like a language thing because they were uh speaking other languages it takes place in the philippines i think yeah philippine mountains and um I mean, there were subtitles at times, but then other times I feel like they were, like, maybe mumbling and you couldn't really hear what they were saying. Uh, the found footage part of it is done just really badly. There's this kid, this young kid who doesn't talk, apparently, and he takes the camera at one point. It, the camera comes along with this one family, and then this, they give the camera to this other kid who then begins to film. And he just... It's one of those movies where the found footage part of it is like he just is filming like all the time and 98% of the time no one pays any attention to the fact that there's this kid here with a camera filming everything and it gets to, to this the point of absurdity where like he follows one couple into the woods and is hiding sort of and they start kind of like making out and then all of a sudden oh they see him so they come over and like oh you go home you go home and then they walk like five feet away from where they just were behind a bush that you could pretty much see, uh, see past and start kissing and getting ready to fuck even though the kid is still there and they walk like five feet away and you're like really what <laughs> what's going on why are they so stupid the acting is horrible um it's confusing as i said before a bunch of bizarre shit happens with really no explanation and then there's that moment where they like they sit down and just it's exposition they just tell you what's going on and you're like okay that's kind of cool i guess sort of if you didn't just tell me everything all at once and you kind of like let it kind of play out somehow okay uh what else can i say about this movie it's uh not you know the it's it's hard to watch it, the you know like any other found footage film there's a lot of like shaking and blurry things and the, the, there's no real framing being taken taking place and it's just it's hard to watch um what else the ends i don't know what happens i i didn't get that far 
I maybe I might still w finish watching it, but I know that I, I knew I had to make this video now, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it before Christmas. So I kind of just took a leap of faith. But Ryan, the cookies that you gave us were awesome. Those were delicious. I ate those like they were gone. I was like, Mrom. delicious cookies. Thank you for the cookies and thank you for the movie. Still, it was a fun. Uh, even though I like basically hated the movie, it was still a fun uh, experiment. And, and just doing this part of it is a lot of fun. So uh, I would totally do this again. The Gory Gifts of Christmas, awesome. I would totally do this again. Uh, but yeah, the movie, as far as the movie review, I don't know, out of 10s, I, I can't even give it like, I didn't even finish. I, if you don't finish a movie, I feel like it doesn't deserve any stars out of whatever, because you couldn't even finish the movie. Um, I'm curious, has, has anyone else seen this movie, Darkest Night? And am I just maybe not, sophisticated enough to enjoy that type of movie i made that could be the case i mean there are plenty of movies that are like you know art house very very uh sophisticated um uh, you know highly rated movies and i just don't like them so i don't i don't think this is one of them but i'm just saying you know you tell me if i'm wrong here uh all right so <laughs> that's my that's my review for the gory gifts of christmas for darkest night um, I'm pretty sure I covered all my bases here. What I didn't like look up the rules to see exactly what we had to do, but uh, Ryan, if I missed anything, just let me know. I'll come back and I will, uh, you know, do another video or something. And uh, for all of you watching, go check out Ryan Barber's page, The Moon is a Dead World. I'll put the links below, as before, uh, in the description area. They, uh, he has like a Facebook page, but he also has a web page. He does a lot of cool stuff. He does giveaways, he does movie reviews, he does all kinds of stuff. So check him out. Very good. Uh, very good site. And Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll be back with like a two-minute video in a second. So I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.